Infrared spectroscopy deals with the infrared region of electromagnetic spectrum. Only in this region is the energy intense enough to excite bonds in a molecule to absorb energy. Molecules absorb these frequencies of light because they correspond to frequencies of vibrations of bonds in the molecule. So IR spectroscopy is used for the determination of different functional groups including bonds. There are two types of spectrophotometers in IR spectroscopy. Single beam spectrophotometer and double beam spectrophotometer. Single beam spectrophotometer uses a single beam of light which can pass through one solution at a time. In double beam instrument, a single beam of light splits into two separate beams. One passes through the sample, another passes through the reference. Modern dispulsive IR spectrophotometers are invariably double beam instruments, but many allow single beam operation via a front panel switch. Radiation starts from the light source, then it is incident upon the sample, after that it goes to monochromator, then to detector. This is a double beam scanning IR instrument that makes use of a diffraction grating in a monochromator to disperse the different wavelengths of light. The key components are the light source and translate grating and detector. Radiation from the source is directed along both sample and reference and then into the diffraction grating. The grating disperses the light into spatically separated wavelengths which are selectively directed by a narrow slit towards the detector. The wavelengths are measured one at a time. The grating and slit combination selects the wavelength being measured and the detector produces a spectrum of a plot of transmittance against frequency. IR spectrophotometer contains several parts arranged in a well-defined manner. These parts are radiation source, sample cells, monochromators, detectors and recorder. Infrared instrument requires a source of radiant energy which emit IR radiation. A good light source must have following characteristics. Light source should produce desired radiation with sufficient intensity. Radiation should be continuous and light source should be stable over a long period of time. Different types of light sources are used in infrared spectrophotometer. These light sources are the nursed glower, the global source, incandescent wire source, mercury arc, tungsten filament and CO2 laser source. Instruments for measuring infrared absorption all require a source of continuous infrared radiation and a sensitive infrared transducer or detector. Infrared sources consist of an inert solid that is electrically heated to a temperature between 1500 to 2200 Kelvin. The heated material will then emit infrared radiation. In this picture you can see nurse clover source. Nurse clover consists of cylindrical hollow rod or tube having a diameter of 1 to 2 mm and length of 30 mm. It is sealed by a platinum leads to ends to permit electrical connection. Nurse clover is composed of a mixture of rare earth oxides such as zirconium oxide, yttrium oxide and thoria. When it is heated to about 2000 degrees Celsius electrically it generates IR radiation. It provides maximum radiation to about 7100 cm inverse. Lifetime depends on the operating temperature and the care taken in handling. Next light source is global source. Global source is composed of a rod of silicon carbide usually about 50 mm in length and 5 mm in diameter. When this rod is heated to about 2000 degrees Celsius it provides radiation. Maximum provided radiation is within the range of about 5200 cm inverse. The power consumption is normally higher than that of nurse clover. Water cooling is needed to cool metallic electrodes attached to the rod. Global source is less convenient to use, more expensive and less intense than nurse clover. Next light source is mercury arc. Mercury arc provides radiation of far infrared region. It is a high pressure mercury arc which consists of a quartz jack tube containing mercury vapor at more than one atmospheric pressure. 
when current passes through the lamp, mercury is vaporized, excited and ionized forming a plasma discharge at high pressure. In far infrared region, it emits intense continuum radiation. Generally, there are three types of radiations. First is continuum spectrum, second is emission line spectrum and third is absorption line spectrum. Here in this picture, you can see a continuous or continuum spectrum. A spectral continuum occurs when the interaction of a large number of atoms, ions or molecules spread out all the discrete emission lines of an object so, so they can no longer be distinguished. Next part of the ion instrument is wavelength selector monochromator. A monochromator is an optical device that transmits a mechanically selected narrow band of wavelengths of light or other radiation chosen from a wider range of wavelengths available at the input. Monochromator is composed of an entrance slit, a collimating lens, a dispersing device, usually a prism or a grating, a focusing lens, an exit slit. Light radiation is passed through the entrance slit and incident upon dispersing device which usually a prism or grating. Dispersing device converts the light into its constituent wavelengths. Exit slit allows only a single wavelength of radiation to pass at one time. Thus monochromator converts polychromatic light into monochromatic light. There are two types of dispersing device used, prism or grating. In this picture, you can see both devices. First one is prism and second one is diffraction and grating. Prism is made up of glass, quartz and silica and grating is made up of aluminium. Glass is avoided in the composition of prism because it absorbs radiation. Prism provides lower degree of dispersion while grating is used when higher dispersion is required. Here in this picture, you can observe difference between dispersion produced by prism and grating monochromators. Prism provides lower degree of dispersion while grating is used when higher dispersion is required. Next part is sample holder. Sample holder is used for holding the sample. Sampling techniques in IR depend on whether the sample is a gas, liquid or solid. For gas samples, gas cell is used. For liquid samples, Thin film is made by depositing on a hot surface. Solid samples are used by making KBR discs or deposited films or mold technique is used. Handling of gas samples. Here in this picture you can see a gas cell. Gas sample is inserted in this cell and then the cell is mounted in between infrared transparent windows. Internal mirrors are used which permit the beam to be reflected several times through the sample to increase sensitivity. More the number of reflections, more will be the sensitivity because it increases chances of interaction of IR radiation with the gas sample. In vapor phase, rotational changes in molecule occur freely and these low frequency process can modulate the higher energy vibrational bands. Sampling of liquid samples. Liquid samples are analyzed by making a thin film squeezed between two infrared transparent windows like NaCl flats. The salt plates or rock salts flats must be optically polished and cleaned by using toluene, chloroform, etc. Salt plates should be dry and handled only by their edges. Thickness of the film can be adjusted by varying pressure used to squeeze the flats together and thickness can vary in between 0.01 to 0.1 mm. It consists of two windows of pressed salt sealed and separated by thin gaskets of teflon, copper or lead that have been wetted with mercury. Windows are usually made of sodium chloride, potassium chloride or cesium bromide. There are two cells, first cell containing sample and second one containing pure solvent placed in reference beam. By the reference beam, solvent absorption is re-cancelled out and spectrum recorded is that of solute alone. Grinding is done in an agate motor pistol or commercial ball mills. Poorly ground mixture lead to discs that scatter light then they transmit. Particle size of 2 micrometer must be achieved to avoid scattering. Compression of a cohesive disc required high pressure. Therefore, special dye are used from which air can be evacuated by hydraulic pressure. 
disk thus formed are easy to handle. Solid sample can also be handled by mole technique. In this technique, mole is prepared by grinding the sample with a drop of oil. Then this mole is squeezed between IR transparent windows as for liquid samples. Moling agent should ideally by Moling agent should ideally be infrared transparent, but this is never true because it absorbs radiation of your specific wavelengths. Usually, liquid paraffin, which is also known as nozol, is used to prepare nozol mules. which is transparent over a wide range in ir spectrum one another technique of handling solid samples is by making solid films of it in this technique sample is dissolved in volatile solvent and this solution is allowed to evaporate on a heated surface which leaves the films of the sample solid films can be deposited onto nacl plates which can be analyzed by putting it between ir transmitting windows polymers and various waxy or fatty materials often give excellent spectra in this way next important part of ir instrument is detector an infrared detector is a detector that reacts to infrared radiation it is simply a transducer of radiant energy a transducer is an electronic device that converts energy from one form to another usually a transducer converts a signal in one form of energy to a signal in another There are two types of detectors used in IR spectrophotometers thermal and non-thermal detectors Types of thermal detectors include bolometer thermocouple and thermopile pyroelectric detectors and gole cell Bolometer is derived from a Greek word bolometron in which bolo means something thrown and metron means to measure A bolometer consists of an absorptive element such as a thin layer of metal connected to a thermal reservoir through a thermal link. Thermal reservoir is generally maintained at a specific constant temperature. When any radiation falls on the absorptive element, it raises its temperature above that of reservoir. The greater the absorbed power, the higher the temperature. The temperature change can be measured directly with an attached resistive thermometer or the resistance of the absorptive element itself can be used as a thermometer next detector is thermocouple detector thermocouple consists of a pair of junctions of different metals for example two pieces of bismuth fused to either end of a piece of antimony the sensing element composed of small thermocouples on a silicon chip which absorbs the energy and produces an output signal This detector works on the phenomena that when a closed circuit is formed by joining two dissimilar metals at two junctions and junctions are maintained at different temperatures then an electromotive force is induced in this closed circuit. This effect states that when a closed circuit is formed by joining two dissimilar metals at two junctions and junctions are maintained at different temperatures then an electromotive force is induced in this closed circuit. Next detector is pyroelectric detector. Pyroelectric detector is made up of single crystalline wafer of a pyroelectric material such as triglycerin sulfate. Pyroelectric materials contains property of pyroelectricity. Pyroelectricity can be described as the ability of certain materials to generate a temporary voltage when they are heated or cooled. The working of pyroelectric detector Below Curie temperature pyroelectric material exhibit electrical polarization when radiation coming from the sample is incident upon this detector the temperature is altered because of this alteration in temperature the polarization changes which is observed as an electrical signal next detector is gole cell Gole cell is mainly used for infrared spectroscopy. It consists of a xenon filled enclosure with an infrared absorbing material and a flexible diaphragm or membrane. When infrared radiation is absorbed, it heats the xenon causing it to expand. 
the resulting increase in pressure deforms this membrane a light continuously reflecting of the membrane is detected by a photodiode and motion of the membrane produces a change in signal on the photodiode the detector detects this signal and a spectrum is produced by the recorder second type of detectors used in infrared spectrophotometers are non thermal detectors the response time and sensitivity of non thermal or photonic detectors can be much higher but usually these have to be cooled to cut thermal noise the material in these are semiconductors with narrow band gaps incident ir photons can cause electronic excitations in photoconductive detectors the resistivity of the detector element is monitored photovoltaic detectors contain a p n junction on which photoelectric current appears upon illumination when radiation coming from the sample is incident upon the photovoltaic detector it generates a small voltage this small voltage is detected as a signal generated voltage is proportional to the incident electromagnetic radiation intensity These devices are called photovoltaic cells due to their voltage generating characteristics.